Estimation of Length Hey Mintu, why do you look so worried? Look at this brother. I made this special birthday card for my friend. But it is not fitting into the envelope. Let me see. Mintu, I will measure the envelope with my hand span and it is one span long and your birthday card is one and two hand spans long. Oh, this envelope is smaller than my card. Mintu, wait. I have a bigger envelope. I will give it to you. Here. Yes, Chintu. Seems like my card will fit into this one. How can you say that? Can you tell the approximate length of this envelope? Hmm. This envelope is as big as my card. Then, its length would be two hand spans approximately. That's right. Now put your card in this envelope, okay? This is of the same size as your card. That is, the length of this card is two hand spans. Wow! This envelope is of the correct size. Tell me, can we estimate the length of everything like this? Yes, kids. We can estimate the length of everything in this way. So today, we will use our body parts and other small things to determine the estimated length of objects. Do you know, Mintu? When I went to my grandfather's house during the holidays, he told me that people during the old times used certain body parts to determine the length of objects. People used estimated measures of everything during those times. How's that? Those days, people used the length of palm, that is hand span, length of hand, that is cubit, and length of foot, that is foot span, as units of measurement of length. Mintu, some people use these units even today to estimate the length. Then can I find the length of this window using my palm to measure it? Yes, Mintu. The distance between the tip of one's thumb to the tip of the pinky finger is called a hand span. So, Mintu, you can use hand span to find the length of the window. Do you want to try it? This is one hand span long. And now I will place the left hand touching the right hand that makes two hand spans. Now I lift the right hand and place it forward touching the left hand. This is three spans long. Now I will repeat the process till I reach the end of the window. Like this, the length of the window is six spans of my palm. Well done, Mintu. Now tell me, what is the estimated length of this table? This table looks longer than the window. The length of the window is six spans of my hand. So this table must be approximately 12 hand spans long. Mintu, now try to measure the length of this pencil with your palm. The length of this pencil is equal to one hand span. Yes, Mintu. Now, consider this pencil 
as a unit and now use this pencil to measure the length of the window 1 2 3 4 and 6 the length of this window is 6 pencils long yes so mintu like this we can consider the measure of a smaller object as a unit to estimate the length of a bigger object wow brother this is really interesting now considering this rubber a unit of measuring the length determine the length of this paper bag okay hmm to measure the bag's length place the rubber at one end of the bag so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 the length of this paper bag is 5 erasers mintu now i will teach you how to measure by making your arm length a unit yes fine look the distance from the elbow to the tip of the middle finger is called the length of the arm or the length of a cubit can we use it to measure this sofa yes look this is one arm's length this is two arms three arms this is four arms length so the length of this sofa is equal to four cubits wow brother You even measured the sofa. Wow. <laughs> Let's go to eat food now, Mintu. Then I will teach you to measure using your feet as unit of length. Okay. Friends, today you learn that using your body parts or small things, you can estimate the length of objects in the next video we will learn about some more units of estimating length